Hi everybody, this is Steve Pratt with HitItLonger.com. I'm going to give you a little insight today on why I think Tiger is struggling. Um, first thing I want to show you is the head movement during his swing. I've been noticing this for quite a while now. Uh, you can see here that he starts a good posture. About 30 degrees bent at the hips, arms hanging under the shoulders. But I want you to see as soon as you, as soon as he takes the club back, and this outside take away, keep it in front of the hands is all garbage, nonsense, uh, totally unnecessary. But back to the main point, look at the head has already dropped significantly under the original starting line. The second thing I want to do, I want to mark his swing circle center which is right here. Okay, so that's the swing circle center. You'll see that that's also going to drop as he takes the club back. If this wasn't bad enough, you can see here as he approaches the top, he's now at a second level. He's dropped about three inches here, probably, maybe four, which is already troublesome as it is. You see, as he starts to transition, he's going to drop to a third level. And by the time he reaches the slot, right about here, you can see he's reached a third level, another three to four inches down. So his head has dropped well, boy, six to eight inches uh, from its original starting position. And you can see also the uh, place where his cir swing circle center is, is right here now. That's also dropped about the same amount, at least six inches, maybe more. So the fact that this, he started here, this, this distance right here from swing circle center down to the ball, and has now reduced this distance approximately six inches from the swing circle center to the ball. He's decreased that six inches, so something has to give. Um, if you were to see him from face on at this position, uh, you would see that it looks like he's about to bury the club about six inches into the turf. It looks like it's incredibly steep and it looks like he'll do, have to do something major to recover. Um, again, you'll have to, he, he'll have to shorten the lever six inches to keep it from going into the turf, or he would have to do something else. And what he does is he starts to stand up. You see, see his head going back up again, but notice that his legs are standing up. You see here that his right knee is in the slot had a nice flexion to it. Now it starts to straighten as he goes through the ball. And he starts to stand up. You see his start to lose that bent over posture that he had. His head is not rising that much, but look how flexed he is at the neck. You see here, his neck and his head were in alignment with his spine. And you can see how much flexion he has in there now and how much flexion he has in the cervical spine area where he had very little of it in the slot. So that's one of the reasons why Tiger's struggling right now and has been for the last several years in my opinion. You just cannot make up for that much head movement and be accurate and consistent.